Hi guys, this is Eva. Welcome to the Overflow Prophetic Ministries channel. I have a quick prophetic warning to share today. But first, a quick word of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us the opportunity to get into this word today. This is your channel, these are your people, and I am your servant. Please have your way, Lord, speak through me that your people will be edified and that your name will be glorified, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Guys, this is a message to the body of Christ. The Lord said, Tell my people that when they stop seeing jealousy, envy, strife, contention, bitterness, division, and variance, as anything other than evil arrows, my body can be unified and in one accord. The adversary doesn't need to come up with anything new. He has been trying to hinder the gospel and weaken the body of Christ with the same tactics from the book of Acts. Before that, there was the jealousy and envy and variance between the twelve that walked with Jesus. And before that, it was seen in the Old Testament everywhere that I, the Lord, was doing a great work in my people. It popped up in Cain before he killed Abel. It popped up in Abraham's camp between Sarah and Hagar, between Abraham's men and Lot's men. Then in Isaac's house between Jacob and Esau. Jacob ran away and at Laban's house there was jealousy and envy between Rachel and Leah injected and aggravated by Laban's deceit. It could then be found between Jacob and Laban's sons and Laban himself. There would be later jealousy and envy between Jacob's children resulting in Joseph's betrayal. Moses' own siblings came against him due to this dynamic duo. You will see jealousy and envy raise their ugly heads between Hannah and Penina Solomon and Absalom throughout King David's house and in King Saul himself and the list goes on. Long story short, they, jealousy and envy, coveting, are not just evil arrows, they are sin. I hate sin. Sin will weaken, incapacitate, open doors for more arrows, sin, sickness, death in believers and ultimately churches and the body of Christ if it goes unchecked. Beloved, know that just as the anointing flows from the head, like the oil from Aaron's beard, jealousy is a strong man, and entertaining it not only creates a foothold, but also creates a murderous stronghold that festers over time and spreads like a cancer. To whom much is given, much is required. Be holy as I am holy. Wash your hands, ye sinners. Draw close to me, and I will draw closer to you. Be careful how you think you stand, lest you fall. Cast down every vain imagination that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. I am not mocked. A man will reap that which he sows. Love me the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and your neighbor as yourself. Pride comes before a fall. The just, however, shall fall seven times and get back up. Forgive each other's trespasses, that you yourselves can be forgiven. Beware the Herod and the Nebuchadnezzar experiences. I will share my glory with no man. Or no other, not now or in eternity. It was Old Testament, but I am the ancient of days. I am the first and the last, the beginning and the end. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. I raise up one and put down another. At this time, I desire to pour out my spirit on all flesh. That was not it. On 3,000 people in the book of Acts. But I do need you to be in one accord. 
not in cliques, not in associations. You don't have to be in one building. You have the Holy Spirit. And I desire my glory to blanket the earth. But beware. Where my glory abounds, so does my requirement for holiness. And so does judgment of sin. Pride and rebellion are not of me. Consecrate yourselves as my people did before I descended from the Mount Horeb in the days of my servant Moses. This is not a fielded message, but it does indicate that consecration is required. Grace abounds and much more abounds, but it must never be taken for granted. If you've been harboring pet sins and getting away with it, no, you've been given notice. The book stops here. This is a new season that has the potential to be amazing, awe-inspiring, a time of elevation, or it can be tragic as it was for Ananias and Sapphira. No time to waste. Behold, I come quickly. Selah.